So you got questions, we got answers. Got a question from Chuck Wingenbach. Do we need to vaccinate our chickens for Merix? We're gonna go over in this video what Merix is, should you vaccinate, where it comes from, and what do you do if you find Merix in your flock? So, Dr. Mike, the chicken doctor, mm -hmm. Merix, lay it on me. Do I need to vaccinate my birds for Merix? Yes. Uh, the answer is yes, and let me explain why. Merix is what we call a viral cancer in chickens. Merix is actually caused by a herpes virus, and what it does is it infects the bird, it can get into their internal organs, it affects the reproductive tract of hens, it causes uh, tumors to grow on, on the sciatic nerve, and it can cause ocular, in other words, it can cause like cataracts growing on the eyes of the chickens. So there's a lot of different symptoms of this disease. And uh, you want to prevent that because you can have 20 to 30% mortality in your flock due to Merrick's disease, okay? And as they get older, older birds tend to show more of this. Again, it's like, like you said, it's, it, it's a herpes-caused neoplastic disease, which means basically a cancer-type disease. So what we do is we can incubate eggs and at day 18, they can actually inject the uh, vaccine into the egg at 18 days of incubation. Into the egg itself? Into the egg itself. Wow. So that as it hatches, it already hatches with some immunity. Or at, um, within the first 24 hours after hatch, you have to give the vaccine. And it's given subcutaneous in the back of their neck, okay? So under and the skin. Under the skin, in the back of their neck. And then that's good, that's it. You only get a one shot. And you only have within that first 24 hours after hatch, if you're going to do it, to vaccinate. This is a vaccine that does not take or does not work if you give it later than that in their life. Gotcha. Okay. And the idea is to prevent this. And it can be spread through feather dander, uh, skin, and other particles coming off birds. So it, it's ubiquitous. It's pretty much out there. Uh, other birds can bring it into your flock. So. So Merrick's is out there in the world. It's out there. And if you're a pasture poultry producer, if you're a backyard producer, that you know, it's not. How you don't have a chicken barn, although mm -hmm. if, you know if it's, your barn's not secure, uh, another outside bird can bring this in, and it causes those the cancer and the tumors and the just nastiness right. uh, in your bird. Yeah. And uh, for those of you thinking like I don't know, I don't want to handle syringes or how am I going to do this? When you're ordering from a hatchery, as I do, uh, you can opt in for being vaccinated or not vaccinated to Merix. Um, I've been vaccinating my chickens, and that raises mm -hmm. the question if I'm making the claim that I'm antibiotic free and no hormones mm -hmm. and like all that stuff that consumers want to hear and that I believe that I'm doing on farm, if I get the Merix vaccine, vaccine is that, you can does still that, make that, claim. that, can I make all those claims? You can still make the claim. It's not antibiotic. It is a vaccination. It is a, a natural vaccine because it's, the vaccine is produced from the herpes virus in turkeys so it cross reacts in chickens to prevent the Merrick's disease in chickens, but they don't necessarily get sick from it. But they will be carriers because they're vaccinated like everything else, because you use a modified live virus. So it's, it is something you want to watch out for. Many birds uh, at our facilities here at UConn in our pathobiology laboratory, we see a lot of Merrick's disease coming in because birds were not vaccinated. So that's one of the problems. Is there any, is it very avian specific or is there any yeah, danger? No like if I eat yeah. a chicken that had Merix, will I get sick at all? No, that is very specific to the avian species. It's not a, it's not a problem you're gonna get. Gotcha. So, and usually if you have a chicken that has Merix, it's, it's down before you're gonna get to eat it anyway. That was the next question was that if I notice Merix in one of my birds, yeah. Uh, well, what are the symptoms? Like, how so, do I know my bird has merit? Well, like I say, some of the symptoms are they get leg paralysis. Usually the sciatic nerve of one or both legs has a tumor on it, and now they become paralyzed. Uh, the other thing you'll see is that they get a little ruffled up. Uh, they don't, egg laying may stop in an egg laying hen. And then sometimes they get, looks like cataracts on their eyes. So those are some of the external symptoms, and, and sometimes you know, eventually they'll just flop over and die and you're not wondering, you're wondering why they died because nothing else is happening. Yeah. So you may get one or two birds in a flock that, that just die from it. When you get them posted, then they can look and see if they have the virus. 
The, uh, <clears throat> the takeaway that I wanna have for you guys from this video is figuring out where your extension offices are. Uh, we have Yukon who, mm -hmm. if I have a sick bird, they'll either come up to the farm and pick it up or I could bring it in to Yukon, you fill mm -hmm. out a form uh, and they'll diagnose it for me so I know exactly what is happening on my farm. Knowledge is power and operating in a way where you know what's going on with your flock, you're aware is gonna prevent a lot of these problems and diagnose them and you'll learn from it over time. You know, the experts are experts because they've made mistakes, they've adapted uh, and they've adjusted over time, hopefully. Right, right. so it is. So you can contact your state veterinarian uh, and they will let you know where your local diagnostic laboratory is. Many uh, local veterinarians don't handle poultry or avian species, so check with your state vet and find out who does in your state. And if you have a bird that dies, bring it in and have it posted and find out why so you can have a better healthy flock. If you have any questions about Marix or poultry diseases, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks, Dr. Mike, for all the information. It's amazing to have 35 years of information at my fingertips as we create these videos. Subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up if you like Dr. Mike as much as I do. And uh, yeah, have a good day, man. Or Thanks, woman. John.